engine went out again. Oh, why is it doing that? <laughs> Did the battery just go out or did I lose a cap? Oh, it hovered. Sort of. I lost power. So I'm thinking I killed the battery. Or something, like I said before, came loose because of the heat. So let's find out. It smells smoky. What I lose? Ooh, that's warm. Okay. Yeah. Whew. That got hot. Okay. Oh, I lost the connection to the power. That's why. That's why. Yeah, it got too hot. See, I knew something like that would happen. That's exactly what I was expecting might happen. So I gotta get air in through the front, which is probably probably a good thing I didn't do a maiden today. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try and pull this without burning myself. Okay. Um, PDD is warm. So, you know, the ESCs, I mean, they're not bad, they're hot. But I was pushing it. I was pushing it pretty hard. So, we're gonna pull these up. Get the battery out. The next iteration of this design will, uh, have some kind of hatch that's a little bit less complicated than this but uh yeah um i'll show you really quickly what happens i and my infinite wisdom had soldered a connection here from the power and you can see the the positive side came right off so uh kudos to me for the soldering job um thought i had it in there but everything did get pretty hot i mean we're talking i mean you can't hold it for very long the pdb too that got hot but that cooled down rather quickly so <clears throat> i'm thinking it's working, but um, when I'm in stabilized mode and in, in, in iNav, oh, I should probably put those in there. Um, when I'm in stabilized mode in iNav, I don't get full RPMs on the EDFs. So it's a little bit harder to lift off, so it's more of a lift off, get it to an altitude that I can as quick as possible, and then transition over. Now that's going to be thrust to weight ratio. I could probably fix that with a smaller battery, but then we're looking at a little shorter runtime uh, at that point because I'm running a 6,000 milliamp 100C. Uh, and I'm drawing 264 amps, somewhere around there. So depending on the battery, this is why I keep going like, I need to get a good battery. I need a new battery, a new battery technology, something to make this work the way it was intended so yeah it's a bit of a mess 
Um, foam ain't helping that much. I'm keeping everything cool, but uh, I kind of had to in order to kind of group these wires up, see? And that's why I put the holes in the front to let air go through down into there. Sorry, it's right there. Um, no, it isn't, it's right there. And there's one hole there, so I'm blocking one. My bad. So what I think I might do is get up on the airfoil right here and put some kind of port in. Just hot knife it in. So we can get some air through there. Some scoops. That's what I needed was a scoop. I assumed this opening right here would have been a good enough scoop to get air down in there. Um, however, I was wrong. Uh, it got hot pretty quick. So we're either going to have to go with thicker gauge wire, which is going to give me another problem, or figure out a way to keep these cool. So the maiden would have would have been pretty short. That's why I did the hover test. But when it landed, it landed flat and didn't break anything. That was nice. Thank you, fate. Um, as you can see, I put some reinforcements on the ailerons because it came, came up a little thin but uh it's a work in progress it's a prototype so that was actually fun though um that second time when it was higher up in the air i was in i was in plane mode so i had switched it and then went to plane mode so i think what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of reinforcement which is good that i didn't go out today uh get some thicker gauge wire soldered on here <sighs> figure out a way to port it. I could probably port it through here. I gotta get air in there. We gotta get air in there somehow. Other than the ports that I'd already put. Something that... Mm, I may... I mean, just because it's a prototype, just for the sake of getting it in the air and making sure that the ESCs are cool, I might just poke a hole through this area here and just tuck the ESC here and one here. It won't mess with the aerodynamics too much, I don't think. And then the power distribution board uh, in the same place, just over the top. And we'll just run those wires through here, like underneath this nacelle. Since, oh look, an opening. Um, so it's almost perfect already. Now let's run the ESCs here. That'll keep them cooler. It'll give me a lot more room inside here, I think. So I think that's where we're going to go. See, this is how we, I learn the design portion of this. I'm trying to keep it as compact as possible, but I'm also trying to make it to where it functions properly. And with it overheating like that, I, I would rather I would rather print up some some stops and then these ESCs can go right here, right in the direct line of the airflow with the cap facing forward. And then I'll have little PLA stops that I kind of glue in there. I'll design them in in Fusion and then put them in there. <laughs> and then the next iteration on the wing, I'll try and get the ESCs in, like one on top, one on the bottom, and I'll port them so that you have ports here that let air run through without messing with the aerodynamics too much. But in this case, that's where we're gonna go. I think we're gonna tuck the ESCs here. That'll take a lot of heat out of the inside. Um, this is ported, should be ported enough for the power distribution board. Um, <laughs> I have to, I'm putting a 12 volt fan on this thing or something and just so it can pull in air. Um, I have like a bunch of fans laying around so I can make it work. So, um, yeah, I think that's where we're at. That was a, that was a good test. That was a good test. Everything's still connected. Everything's still working, obviously, with the exception of that one power lead right there. So we will address that. And then, um, then I'm, that's it. That's it. I'm going... 
full San Francisco and I'm tucking the ESCs right up inside there where no one can see them. Okay, so that's what we'll do. And then we'll have the Maiden. Shouldn't take too long. Look a little less clean, but um, with as small as these ESCs are, I <laughs> I think they'll be all right tucked right there. If they get too hot, they'll melt my wing. Either way, it's gonna be fun. So, but that was, a, that was interesting how it just kind of dropped. I loved it and it didn't break anything at all. But this uh, spaghetti of engineering here, um, I need to fix. So we'll be back.